Thank you, everyone. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, today's topic, which, with which is business, business analytics, the main thought behind it is like we all are hearing the industry is growing. There are multiple opportunities uh, falling across. The industry is in big need of data and analysis analysis of data, but when when there is a demand, the issue comes of supply or getting the right manpower or getting the right set of people who can analyze or give, give the right kind of information what organizations are looking at. Analytics today is in the same scenario what 20 years back IT would be or 25 years IT would be where there was a huge demand. Everybody was moving towards IT but there was no, no manpower supply. And that's where everybody moved towards it. Initially, it was a big challenge for industry to have the right kind of right set of people to develop this. Later, everybody, everybody got into the same mode. And then now today, what we see IT is today. Similar thing happened about 10 years back with BFSI, where suddenly all banks, all financial services organizations started moving, and there was a dearth of manpower. And then, then everybody got into a different mode. They were education companies. They were uh, uh, training uh, bodies who came together and created various models where they could get the right manpower. Now, analytics is something in India which is which is also going through the same phase what others have gone some years back. Definitely, it is this this particular topic is is. Uh, uh, not as as any other organization or, or any other expertise as such. Analytics, you one would require a lot of skill sets and acumen to understand various kind of businesses and models. Now, the challenge what today is happening is uh, if so, I'll take you through uh, an overall what kind of demand uh, the industry is throwing upon us, and where is the supply gap, and what is the organization is looking at, and we as one of one of the training bodies and others are also joining and how they are contributing to the required manpower what is what what is required so quickly uh, we'll just stay touch upon four topics not uh, getting into more details of of what 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 is all, all about now if you look at the demand pass there are big challenges in terms of the data now, what is the problem with data is that today, by virtue of technology, there are loads and loads of data available. And companies have become very, very effective in terms of, uh, you know, allocating and aligning themselves to, to get a huge pool of data. Now, what do you do with the, that data? The problem, what, what is, is that there is no evaluating, evaluating process is possible without set of manpowers and tools. And that's how that's how business analytics is very active in this one time. But the, but the thing what is what is happening right now is uh, there are there are different kind of data which are coming flowing into a company. Now if you look at everybody, almost everybody, a mid size to a large size company is getting into a data analysis and getting getting more out of the data for an effective business decision. But the challenge what is what it is happening is that there is one set of data which they are getting, which is structured data where they have a process to define the data and they are getting the data from uh, from various sources and uh, various mechanisms now there is a huge pool of unstructured data which is which comes as as in terms of social networking digital boards audio video chats all these things which are happening right now now if you look at most of the companies they have that even that that data but they don't know what to do with that data because there there is there is a skill set required and there are there are efficient manpower manpower required to analyze that kind of data now text data or or a number data you you traditionally some people had earned in the past and now people are doing it but getting into the unstructured data which is more on side of like if you look at a picture and the pictures picture has some sarcasm there is no technology or tool who can identify in that way where where that the person has to have the acumen to understand that 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 particular thing or you know in typically in indian scenario if you look at we have statements like oh it is good kind zero now if you are picking up that data and trying to make a make an analysis of that you don't know whether it is sarcasm or it is in a positive way or it is in a negative way 
so overall what happens that that the understanding of data is also very important now how that will happen is because now this is the challenge the industry is all occupied getting the data getting different kind of data nobody is is able to map the data and join different information which are coming there are some some organizations who have put their best effort and they are able to do that but again the challenge is that everybody wants to do that but they need set of people who can help them to do that and that's where the challenge is because only 14% think that they have the talent whereas the market is big and nobody is uh, addressing that so if you look at the overall what is the scenario analytics market is is going growing at a pace of about 23% per year and uh, that's the cagr what we have the data what what we get is the basically the growth drivers are not the structured data the growth drivers are in terms of you know getting getting the data in, in terms of the other kind of data which is unstructured now due to cost quality and skill manpower advantages even even we as in india we are getting the competitive advantages over others and if you if you uh, see through some reports which are which are coming coming for the other world of uh, other side of the bucket there are loads and loads of data uh, interpretation which is happening but uh, again the cost and other factor so india has also become captive for that kind of particular data requirement and then we have this this us based shortage which is there now if you look at the education system this is the requirement overall but if you look at the education system currently uh, we have post graduates in finance banking we have mtechs btechs we have engineers we don't have a proper uh, uh, formal education model which says it this is in business analytics there are few models which are which are available but it is like it is very minuscule to the entire requirement what 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 we what, what is there so the challenge is that how would the talent pool will come because there is no formal education till a particular level when i'm having uh, when i'm going through a formal education there is no interpretation of data or or markup of the data now what what happens after that we will get into this is finance special post graduate engineering and everything what is the next stage for me there is there is so now what happens is that if i want to move into data analytics and all it's it takes quite a lot of challenge for for me to move to that particular particular thing because there is no basic uh, training which i had that's the reason why at times uh, you know currently the the best pool which gets into is 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 the engineers and all these people are are getting into that pool but there is there is again the challenge what what we are trying to build here is this so if you look at your academic percentage and general and aptitude the any education model without uh, the presence of a formal model the engagement what we can have is in these two only we can't go be below beyond that because till the formal education is happening there is no intervention in terms of ba which what we are trying to bring in in terms of the initiative from the education industry is to get you know training pieces here where where we after their formal education we try to engage them into various kind of uh, training models and different different fft way of training that is how we are trying to structure this now if you look at uh, the industry part there are few questions which are which are which have been asked uh, you know we also go and ask to industry and there are very relevant question is is there a pain due to lack of training so it is and are the desired skill trainable and what should be the student trainer now these are the things which we try to see from the industry perspective so now the challenge what what everybody is mentioning is need functional and business vertical knowledge now data analytics or business analytics or data and analysis whatever we call it is not one of the function of it anymore that it is happening in one corner where an independent group is working and and some data forecasting is happening currently data analytics or business analytics has to get into boardrooms because now it is part of the strategy of the company to decide which way they want to go so that is the reason why today a business analytics or data analytics person need to also have understanding of the industry so it is not no more it's like you know one 
typical IT application where you just create a data and just flow the data to, to the next computer. That's not the game right now. The business has changed, the requirement has changed, and the shape of data analytics has changed now. So now what happens is that the person need to be technically strong, of course, but sector knowledge is very, very important. So it's, it is like, like if I'm creating a data for, say, uh, telecommunication or telecom or maybe pharma. Now, if I am creating a data and trying to suggest that if you do X, uh, then the profit will increase or make such kind of investment, then the profit will increase. If I don't understand pain of finance or the finance piece of the data, I don't know. But that data which I'll forecast or which, which I will recommend will have no value because finance will kill it down. Now, again, if, if I'm talking about distribution, I'm going to uh, uh, location A and I'm, I am suggesting with my data that with the kind of frequency what we have, we should have three people. But the distribution network says we have only one. Now, again, the model goes, goes for a toss. So these are the challenges which, which any industry currently is facing. And if you see the major takers are uh, BFSI, healthcare, retail, FMCG, all these companies are utilizing this data analytics piece. But what is happening at the end of the day that, you know, we get the data and, and we, we, we do an analysis and keep it to that. The, in terms of forecasting and all that, we again go back and, and wait for the decision through, uh, maybe with, with that comes by experience or maybe by, by virtue of certain thoughts and all that. But there is no data to support right now. Of course, a large organization have gone to that step up and they are doing that. But everywhere, every industry needs that kind of acumen, which is currently not there. Now, if you come to uh, the other pieces, these are the experts' opinion, basically. The problem with the data person is that you create a data, now you need to communicate, you need to represent, you need to understand, and then, then pitch it. That's why I mentioned that today data or business analytics or BA has to get into the boardroom. And it is a part of boardrooms in today's discussion. If you, if you look at everywhere, the data comes as a very strategic part in terms of making decisions for, our, for these things. And that is the reason why the manpower need to be twinned in this. Now, typical data is like this. If you see, there are reporting, which is what is happening. So there is a reporting data, which is there. Then there are descriptive data, which says, why did it happen? So these are all postmortems. Why did it happen? Then comes predictive data, what is likely to happen? And then comes forecasting, which is prescriptive analysis. So that's all this is happening. But currently in our system, probably we are, we are if except the, some beautifully structured uh, organizations who have gone ahead with that, but most of it are, are in the, into postmortem. And future and predictive, so if you see reporting, descriptive, predictive, and prescriptive. So currently, the, the skills what is required is a person can do this. Then only he is a perfect data scientist. But the challenge what is what, what currently is happening right now is that, that we are till here and somewhere between this. Very few have gone to this level and which is the need of the hour. And that is, that is what is required. Now if you look at the, uh, the structure. So there is data management which is one piece which, which which is very important for, for any kind of analysis. So there is a data collection, then validation and storage, data analysis and reporting, then advanced analytics and presentation and action. Now, if anybody is trying to learn something in this, in this kind of uh, industry, he has to have some basics of this. In addition to this, he, he should have communication, database handling, statistical analysis, mathematical. So, now the need is from the education side, uh, there, is a, there is a training which is required for these kind of people so that they can rightly fit to the role what, what they are supposed to do and not because they had lesser knowledge so they do only the data collection part or, or, or the management part rather than getting into forecasting. So these are the things which are required. Now if you look at uh, the hiring currently because without lack of any existing model, the hiring is usually MBA, statistician and engineers. That's the basic hiring. Because initially, we all thought that it is part of IT application. 
to manage the data now comes the analysis piece which is very very strong now if you if you look at there are certain online portals they live on data and they make decisions like that how can they do that is because that is where they have great created their expertise now what are desired skills then it requires advanced knowledge of statistics and mathematics that is a basic requirement which comes from formal education what is next is advanced knowledge of tools obviously tools are the most important thing in this then comes data management skills and then we build business knowledge in them so they have to understand the business very well if he is working in fmcg he has to under, understand nitty gritties of fmc fmcg or telecom or whichever industries they are working so these are very important things for a person to understand otherwise it will be a data which has no color or flavor it is it is it is like again 0 1 but if you if somebody does this then he gets into the right thing the last piece is soft skills or the management skills because after do you do all these things you need to present and make your case and that's what the need of the r is basically just to give you a few examples obviously bangalore is the biggest uh, consumer for data analytics requirement then comes delhi ncr and then we have shares all across and in terms of overall analytic professionals there are supply which is which is already there now if you look at this how industry is adapting to this and why what i just mentioned about the six skills which are required to learn before you get into this industry is because if you see there is risk where so most of the companies first use data for their risk basically so they they do use use it for risk mitigation that is the first thing what they do then the best thing is to sales and marketing because all should be revenue triggers then only it makes sense for a data so basically what if you if you see supply chain tax management human resources overall what happens is first thing is that you optimize your performance by your internal operation and exigencies then get into sales and management which is revenue triggers and then you do forecasting for a better business decision that's all is what, what is all about now if you look at in india this is the kind of distribution what is industry is all about so who are using technology 7% retail pharma pharma is is and banking is the most important uh, pieces in the business analytics because today's banking or bfsi organizations are completely getting dependent on data and that's how they are working for and overall if you see this is the banking thing healthcare insurance everywhere they are using for sales growth now a data which is without this knowledge from the industry will be a waste so that is the reason why any person who gets into this has to have these industries information and that's how the person builds up builds up the entire thing so they they build up so if you look at the improvisation of data everybody is doing everybody is trying to you know collate the data properly create a bank and all that but actually 28% of the people basically actually are able to use the real value data which is happening so overall if you if you look at it today's ba or data analysis is not just putting few techies into a high tech tool based room and we expect that something comes out of that currently what we require is is technology enabled business minded people who can use these technology to drive a better business decision for the organization that is what is data analysis is all about for a fresher to get into thank you